Hello, I'm John Lansing, CEO and Director of the United States Broadcasting Board of Governors, the independent agency that is dedicated to informing, engaging, and connecting people around the world in support of freedom and democracy. We work hard every day around the world to ensure citizens have access to reliable and uncensored news and information through our five global networks, Voice of America, Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, Radio Free Asia, Middle East Broadcasting Network, and the Office of Cuba Broadcasting. Today, around the world, governments, civil society, and journalists are observing World Press Freedom Day. As a former journalist myself, I know World Press Freedom Day isn't just about journalists, it's about all of us. Based on the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights following World War II, citizens of the world have the inherent right to live in a civil society the right to freely express their opinions without authoritarian repression, the right to a society with press freedom. What does that freedom mean? Freedom to challenge authority. Freedom to build societies around truth and perspective and context. Freedom to hear and respect differing opinions. Freedom to understand their world and be informed enough to change things for the better. This is what our journalists do. Every day they risk harassment, imprisonment, and even their lives to bring people the truth. Right now, BBG journalists are unlawfully jailed for the crime of telling the truth. In Azerbaijan, RFERL contributor Khadija Ismailova sits in jail on trumped-up charges because of her reporting exposing government corruption. Saparmamed Nepeskuliv has been held incommunicado by Turkmen authorities since last summer. In Vietnam, Radio Free Asia contributor Nguyen Yak Gya has been sentenced to four years for his reporting. Many other reporters face harassment of both them and their families, everything from threatening phone calls to threats of arrest. Today I want to salute the brave men and women who make great sacrifices to report the news, and I call for the immediate release of Khadija, Saparmamed, and Nguyen Yak. They are reporters, not criminals and we stand with them and we will continue to stand with them until they're free. So on this day that we celebrate World Press Freedom, we salute the journalists of the BBG around the world and journalists everywhere, and we thank them for their dedication, their dedication to the truth, and their bravery in fulfilling that noble mission.